good morning. Well, this verse is interesting, isn't it? It begins by saying, whenever you are arrested. Now, I don't know your situation, but I've never been arrested and I, I hope I never will be. And maybe many of us are in the same position. So we might ask, well, what has this verse got to say to us today? Well, we need to look at the context of a verse. It's always uh, an important thing to do. And the context of this verse is that it's in a passage where Jesus is talking to his disciples about the end times, things that will happen before he returns. And he's reminding his disciples that they will face persecution. They will face opposition, that they need to be on their guard. Now, we're really very fortunate in this nation that we don't appear to face huge amounts of opposition for our faith. But Jesus reminds us that we may do. And you may well be at this time, whether that might be from family or friends or from colleagues or on social media. And so actually this verse is for every single one of us, either when we're facing opposition or when we're thinking about what to say when someone asks us a question about our faith. Because Jesus says, don't worry, just say whatever is given to you at the time, because the Holy Spirit is speaking for you. I remember being on a, a tour with an orchestra and I went out for dinner with some friends and I um, was asked loads of questions about my faith. I was really useless at answering because I tried to do it in my own strength. Thankfully, the next night I went out for dinner with the same friends and they started asking me questions again about my faith. And so at that point, a little arrow prayer went up and I said to the Lord, I said, I need help. I can't do this in my own strength. And the Holy Spirit gave me the words to say. They didn't become Christians there and then or anything like that, but I was able to give a much better account for who I believed in. We don't need to worry because the Holy Spirit can work through us, can speak through us. So whether you face opposition today, whether you ask questions about your faith, remember that God is with you by, your, by his spirit. Ask him to give you the words to say, bless you.